channel I hope you guys are doing amazing whatever you guys are up to today I'm gonna do like my kind of current go-to makeup look this is pretty exciting for me because I am the biggest biggest creature of habit and now when I do my own makeup which is very rare um, when I go out because I never go out um, but you know I tend to have like my go-to looks and they've kind of been the same probably since I was about I would say maybe 19. Yeah, from the time I was about 19, I feel like it's kind of stayed the same. I mean, a couple of things have changed, like obviously products and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyways, long story short, I was sitting in my bed yesterday and I just had like a really, really fun play with makeup, which I never do. Like I experimented, I used heaps of different products that I never use on myself. And it was just one of those rare occasions where I tried something new and I absolutely loved it, which I feel like never happens for me. But anyways, with all that said, today I'm going to show you guys my current go-to hair and makeup look. So the makeup look is just going to be a really nice, healthy, glowy, softer makeup. It just made me feel so pretty and like I looked healthy and glowy. Um, and I'm also going to show you guys uh, my hair as well. So if you guys want to see how to create my current go-to hair and makeup, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my natural hair. Now I'm actually getting my hair dyed tomorrow, which I'm so excited. I have seven months of dark regrowth, um, so I can't wait. But um, yeah, this hairstyle is super, super, super easy. Basically, it's just like enhancing my natural waves. Now, I naturally have quite wavy, curly hair. Um, it's a little bit frizzy, um, obviously, because I bleach my hair. Um, so yeah, I washed my hair a couple of days ago, um, and this is just kind of like the remnants of it. So all I want to do is using my hair tong is just, as I said before, just really enhance my natural curls. And my favorite hair tool ever is my muck top. I have been using these for years. I use them on all my clients. They're very, very, very easy to use in my opinion. So I'm just gonna take my muck tong and I'm using my largest barrel today. Okay, so my tongue's nice and hot. So as you guys can see, and as I was saying before, I do already have some natural waves in my hair. So this is definitely a different technique to what I would do if I was properly curling my hair. So I'm just gonna take random sections of my hair Curl it right at the root, hold for three seconds, done. It's gonna look a bit crazy, but that's okay. So right at the root, I'm gonna wrap that right the way around, hold that for no more than three seconds, take it out. And just taking random sections. So you guys, I'm taking thick sections, I'm taking thin sections. You don't want there to be any rhyme or reason, just nice and messy. I would say if you maybe aren't that confident in your hair skills, this is the perfect, perfect technique for you because the messier you are, the better. And that's it. That's like my current go-to hairstyle. For me personally, I hate perfect looking hair. Um, I just don't feel like myself. I like more messy, unruly, uneven, like more textured hair. So yeah, they're kind of like messy, beachy, lazy waves super easy and yeah so that is my hair done let's move on to makeup so i'm going with my l'oreal infallible mattifying primer today it's going to buff that all over the skin with a little mini buffing foundation brush this is just from ebay and i snapped the handle off so it could fit in my makeup bag <laughs> so the approach that i want to take with my base today is just like a really nice healthy glowy kind of look but I do have quite oily skin so that's why I'm going in with a mattifying base and for foundation I just want like a nice light wash of foundation I don't want to go too heavy on the skin so I'm going to take one of my favorite foundations and that's a L'Oreal True Match foundation this is in golden cappuccino just gonna pop my hair back for this okay so it's gonna start popping this over my skin I love this foundation so much you guys it's really nice and lightweight but it still does have a reasonably good coverage and now, as you guys can see, I don't have the most perfect skin. Um, I've got lots of acne scarring and I do have a couple of blemishes at the moment, which is okay. But my tip, if you want to go a little bit lighter on the skin, but you still think you need a little bit of coverage, is just go in with a lighter wash of foundation and then just pop concealer down where you need to. I'm going to move on to concealer. This is my Naked Skin Concealer in Medium Dark.
This concealer is, without a doubt, one of my favourite concealers in the world. So I just want to buff the concealer out with my Beauty Blender. I literally can't express to you guys how much I love this concealer, especially on darker skin tones. Um, I use it a lot on my clients who, uh, who naturally have darker complexions. Um, such, such a beautiful colour. And now I'm just going to go in with a tiny little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in number 15. Now that Urban Decay concealer that I used is very close to the tone of my foundation, so it's not going to be that brightening. I want this makeup to be a little bit more on the natural side. And when I normally do my makeup, I love using really bright, light concealers to really, really brighten up the under eye. Um, I just think it's so glam, but like I said, I just want to look a little bit more fresher, a little bit more natural. And as you guys saw, just tiny little dots just right where I need them and that's enough for me just to really brighten up my under eyes. Now to start helping with that glow on the skin I'm going to take my Josie Moran Argan Enlightenment Illuminizer. So I've just decanted a little bit of that on the back of my hand and I'm just pushing that just on the high points of my cheekbones just using my fingers. I'm going to take a little bit on my chin little bit above my lip, just on the top of my nose, a little bit above my brow. And I'm first just going to buff that out with my finger. I love this Illuminizer because you can put it over the top of your base and it doesn't break down the foundation or whatever's underneath. And I'm just going to keep building up this product until I'm happy with the glow. The only thing about that Illuminizer is it literally smells like Play-Doh. So now I'm going to set the face using my Cody Airspun Loose Translucent Powder. Okay, so I definitely want to and need to set my face, but I'm going to show you guys a trick that I like to do when it comes to setting the face. So you still get longevity, but you're not going to get that really matte, heavy, powdery look. So I've just picked up my loose powder on my Beauty Blender, and I'm just going to press this just into the palm of my hand. So it's just going to take off a lot of the excess powder, and then just pushing that underneath the eye. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of powder through my T-zone. So now I'm going to be taking my Luxie 552 Tapered Highlighter Brush. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of my Mecca Max Sunlit Skin Bronzer in Medium. And I'm just going to be pushing that product into my hairline. Take that down the temple. I'm going to take that across the nose. A little bit over the chin. And I am just going to take that a little bit across the cheekbone. I love this bronzer so much because it has a really natural golden glow to it. So it just makes the skin, again, look so nice and healthy and tan. And I'm going to further intensify that by going in with my Betty Luminizer by The Balm. It's a really, really, really intense shimmery bronzer. So it's really nice to lay over the high points of the skin. I always like to hit it just a little bit on the tip of the nose over the chin, a little bit over the high points of the cheekbone. Basically, you want to aim for where the sun would naturally hit the skin. Okay, so for me personally, when I think of like a really beautiful, healthy makeup, I instantly think of blush. Just adding a little bit of color back into the face is a really great way of instantly making you look healthy. I just want something that's a little bit more natural and that will mesh well with the rest of my makeup. And I discovered this combo yesterday and I'm obsessed. So I'm first going to start off with my Twinkle Pink Blush by e.l.f which it's definitely not that pink. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera. It's probably more of like a peachy tone. It's got a tiny bit of gold glitter um, and like a really nice glow to it. Um, so I'm going to mix that with a little bit of this gigantic um, bronzer. This is by L'Oreal in La Terra Glam Bronze. Mixing these two together um, as like a flush color over the cheek to die for. So that's what I'm going to do. And again, I'm just going to press this blush over the cheek. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's just such a nice flush of colour through the cheek. Two more products really quickly. Even though, as I said, this is quite like a natural, healthy looking makeup, I still want to feel like myself, so I've got to pop in just a little bit of a cheek contour, um, and I might run this a little bit through the back of my jaw as well. Just a touch on the same brush. This is definitely me, you guys, when I do my own makeup. I literally use like two makeup brushes. And then, of course, I have to highlight, and probably my personal favourite highlighter to wear is my Jello Cosmetics I Am Glam Highlighter. I love, love this highlighter. So I'm just going to take um, like a fluffy eyeshadow brush, just pop that over the top. And I'm just going to take this a little bit down the nose as well, and a little bit on my cupid's bow. 
All right, that is my skin done. Okay, so I did just quickly go in using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in taupe. This is my favorite brow pencil to use on myself. Brows are on, let's get on to eyes. Now the eyes are incredibly, incredibly simple. All I'm gonna be doing is just taking all of the bronzers that I used on my skin through my socket and then smoking that out underneath the eye. Super, super simple. I'm just gonna take that on a nice fluffy brush. Um, I'm gonna start off with the L'Oreal Glam Bronze. get to drag that underneath the eye this is something on myself that I just have to have I don't care what color it is I just do not feel like myself unless I have like a really low smoked out messy under eye now I'm gonna do the exact same thing but just with my mecca bronzer I am obsessed with using bronzers and contour shades um, on the eyes and then last but not least, I'm going to go in with my Hoola by Benefit, which is what I use to powder contour. I like having the smallest possible makeup bag. So that's why I love recycling products. All right, so that's my eyeshadow done. Actually, I lie. I am going to take this little palette here, which I think is an Atelier palette. Um, it has like no name or number. This is literally what it looks like in my personal makeup bag, which is so like indicative to my life. Um, it's broken and it's held together with a rubber band. Um, so anyways, this is my favorite white eyeshadow in the world. This was like my signature thing when I was like, I'm trying to think, probably from the time I was like 13 years old, like a white in a corner highlight. So I'm just going to take that just on a smaller fluffy brush. just on the inside of my eye. I know like it's um, it's not for everyone, but I just love it. I mean, come on you guys, how much does that brighten up your eyes? Definitely, definitely a tip to look healthy is to do an inner corner highlight. It doesn't have to be a matte white. You can use your highlighter, but it just makes you look so nice and healthy. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do a really, really fine liquid liner. I am gonna do a wing. I just wanna keep it as fine as I can possibly get. And for that, I'm gonna take my favorite liquid liner ever, and that is my NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. If you guys haven't tried it and you love liquid liner, you have to get this. It's so good. So my wing liner is done, and I also just went in with a brown pencil and just really finely lined my waterline. That is my eyes done, you guys. Super soft. Super easy. Now I'm just gonna pop on some mascara. This is my little mini Too Faced Better Than Sex. Love this mascara. I am gonna use a couple of individual lashes. I'm literally just gonna use three um, on each eye. I also wanna go fairly heavy on the bottom as well. Okay, so I've just gone in just on this eye and just done three individual lashes. Super natural, really nice and soft, but I think it just makes such a difference. So can you guys tell? So this is with individuals and this is without. So pretty. So I'm just gonna quickly stick a couple on for you. And of course, I'm using my Huda Beauty Black Lash Glue, my favorite lash glue ever. So just keeping them through the outer corner. Okay, so all we need to do is lips. Now something that I love doing on myself uh, when I don't have a lip liner, which I don't um, at the moment, I can't find my favorite one anywhere. So I'm just gonna go in with my brow pencil. Now this is one of my all-time favorite lip colors. I had to get it out of my purse. Um, this is ooh, um, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. Just gonna pop just a little bit of this on. And now to top it off, um, I'm gonna go in with my Carmex Lip Balm. This is like one of my favorite things to do. And I just decanted a little bit of that onto the back of my hand and I'm just picking it up with that brush. I love using lip balms instead of glosses. I just think, well, first of all, it's going to hydrate your lips, but it's just very comfortable to wear. It's not sticky or anything like that. So, yeah. All right, you guys, I am finished. My hair is done. My makeup is done. I mean, I would even wear this makeup to like a wedding or something. Like if I was going to a wedding, like as a wedding guest, like this hair and makeup is just so effortless. So with all that said, guys, I really hope you like this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. And don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps me out. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.